outdoors at night time, stargazing. And when you want to see a faint star, the best way to see it is actually not to look directly at it. <laughs> because if you look directly at it, the center of your vision is clouded by overuse. I assume we looked at the sun too many times when we were kids or something. But actually your most uh, precise and sensitive vision is a little off the center of your retina. And so if you want to see a faint little star, you've got to look just off what you're actually trying to look at. Incidentally, I've just noticed something quite interesting here. There's a little city of tiny little yellow mushrooms here. They're probably poisonous. Anyway. In business, I see people who know what they want. Perhaps they have a sales target they're going for or a market they're trying to penetrate. And they come up with a bunch of measures that will tell them whether or not they're succeeding. And all that is good because it means you know what you want and you know what you need to measure in order to get there. It's when you look directly at the measurements that you lose your way. And so you might say, for example, right, I wanna hit this particular sales target and I know sales is a numbers game and therefore I've gotta meet this many people. Yeah, 100%, you should totally know what your sales target is. You should know that you need to meet some number of people. And then you gotta just look off target a little bit because if you go to every meeting treating it like it's a numbers game, if you meet every person as though they're just another cog in the system to get you what you want, you're not gonna make any sales. It's good to have a goal. It's good to know what the measurements of that goal are. And it's good to ignore those measures and then somehow come back and pay attention to them. It's a paradox, but it's how you make it.